Is Bitcoin about to crash down towards $53,000 or are we in here for a nice bounce and continuation of the bull run? Will you buy the dip if we would see today or tomorrow a big crash guys? This is what I'm going to um, show you in today's video why you should buy Bitcoin if we're going to have a big crash, if, it going, if it's going to be happening. And uh, therefore, of course, as always, this is no financial advice, just what I'm doing, just my own TA, do your own research. And before we go on a dive into the Bitcoin chart, a big reminder, if you scroll down into the video description, you will find my favorite exchanges where I'm trading Bitcoin and altcoins. Currently, I would focus on Bitru and BingX on those two exchanges, sign up to them because you get a very high bonus and also they are supposed to be launching the token of Hamster Combat. I know that many of you are playing this game. This is a Telegram based game and currently they have a big hype around this new meme coin and this new meme game. So they will be an airdrop in the future and on Bitru and BingX you will be able to trade those tokens and also on the game you will get uh, airdrop um, in Toncoin as well. So be ready for the game, be ready for the big airdrop. It's most likely gonna be in July. This is at least what they are telling us for now. And uh, if you want to play the game, the link is here in the video description. Go to the official game and to the official Telegram website because then you can play this game. You just have to tap always and fulfill some requirements every day. I'm updating you every day with the daily quests that you have to fulfill. Today, for example, the daily cipher code is coin and the daily combo are those three cards that you can see here. With that, you get all those uh, millions of tokens uh, for free here on your account and uh, at some point there will be an airdrop. That's why play the game. You cannot buy those tokens for now. Later on, there will be most likely such um, um, a way how to get to those tokens, buying them directly on exchanges or on their website. It is possible, but for now you can only play the game and earn some coins like that. So go ahead, play it guys. And if you want to buy directly some new meme coins that are coming up, currently I have five favorites. One is Base Dogs. This is a new Shiba Inu kind of a meme coin that is coming out. It is completely new. Even staking is yet not available, but you can buy it currently very cheap. And remember guys, whenever you can buy a very cheap meme coin, if it's going to explode, then you can make some nice gains. Then we have also another type of Shiba Inu coin here, the Shiba Shootout. Here you get a very high API. And then, of course, Wiener AI. Currently, I'm seeing a lot of hype around this new meme token that is about to come out very, very soon. Many YouTubers out there are talking about this new meme coin and also a lot of articles out there. You can follow their social media platforms and so on. You see that also the staking rewards are coming lower and lower. So definitely be in this meme coin before it's coming out. We also have a cat AI. This here also brings you a lot of API. So if even if you're buying just a small amount of um, tokens, uh, you will get a lot of in rewards. That means that as soon as they're launching, you can, for example, sell all the staked uh, coins that you are accumulating here. The longer this uh, meme coin takes to come out, the more, of course, you can accumulate if you just buy a little bit and stake it here. Same is also for Play Doge. This is also going to be a Dogecoin game. Uh, we will see what happens with this one. I'm pretty bullish about all kind of new Dogecoin meme coins that are coming out. And uh, if this game is going to be successful as Hamster Combat, then of course uh, it is good to buy in those tokens uh, right now before they're coming out. But Hamster Combat, you can only play the game and get there the tokens as an airdrop. Oh, this is the chart that I'm gonna show you later on, guys. First of all, daily chart of Bitcoin. We are getting some support here at $65,500. I told you guys that I'm expecting a potential dump down towards 57 to 53, 54K in the next coming days. If it's not going to happen, then because this support trend line that is coming here from the weekly time frame, this is a weekly support, this yellow trend line, this is coming from the previous bull run. You can see that here we had a lot of touch points before the big bear, uh, big crash and bear market. Once we recovered back above, we are currently getting supported there. And also here in the daily time frame, you can see that this uh, support trend line has a lot of significance. Whenever we are coming down to this uh, uh, line, uh, we are bouncing from it. Sometimes we dip below, but we normally immediately um, recover back above. If here, 
we are getting now a lot of support and a nice bounce i'm pretty confident that we're not only gonna attack here 71k but maybe even see a continuation of the bull run towards new all-time highs that is possible because currently the daily time frame is looking extremely oversold and we're just waiting everywhere to cross bullish once this is happening it can happen during this week in my opinion then i definitely gonna take a long position i definitely also gonna buy more because then we can avoid to crash down towards the next major support down here at around 57 where we have the 200 daily moving average lining up and uh, the support trend line down here at 54k also if we go over into the weekly time frame you can see that right now we are touching the 20 weekly moving average here we also have a lot of support during the whole bull run the 20 weekly moving average is a very important moving average for bitcoin whenever we have weekly closes below then of course we enter into a downtrend and that of course could lead in such a crash down at least towards $54,000 because if we go over into the monthly here you see guys that the median line of the Calvin channels is at around 45k um, this is in theory a potential important support area if really shit hits the fan because in the past whenever we had sell signals on the monthly time frame like we have right now we had at least a crash down to the median line of the Calvin channel in the median line of the Calvin channels sometimes even the beginning of a bear market down to the 200 weekly moving average I don't expect that this will happen but just that you know the 200 weekly is currently 36k i don't expect that but just that you have that in your radar then the reason why you should buy bitcoin if we see such a crash of course in general it is good to buy bitcoin and dca into bitcoin i'm buying even now that i'm expecting a big crash every now and then as soon as i have some uh, some uh, stable coins around or some uh, other gains somewhere i'm immediately converting into bitcoin even if i'm expecting a crash because you never know bitcoin suddenly can explode like crazy to the upside and uh, if it's coming down then of course you also should have a little bit of fiat on the sideline that's why this is always good to dca into bitcoin have always some cash on the sideline if a major crash happens you can buy more and more and the reason why i'm gonna uh, give you right now the reason why i believe that you should buy bitcoin as much as you can if it happens is because of the rainbow bitcoin chart i have several other models what kind of prices that i'm expecting for bitcoin for this run-up but this rainbow chart is more or less covering it so here you can see let me go into full screen mode so you can see that better so you can see that of course a red zone is where bitcoin is topping out normally last time we didn't reach it we only reached here this orange uh, uh, line here at around 64k and whenever we are in this blue or purple uh, area down here is of course a good buy opportunity i mean it is clear this chart how it is working but what you can see here is that every time we had the bitcoin halving bitcoin was basically trading right at the top of the blue line every time we had the halving bitcoin chopped around up and down between this uh, dark blue and light blue one but very often we came down to test here the bottom line of this uh, uh, blue line here we were um, at the top of the blue line but you see that more or less at the bottom or at the top of this blue line we were trading right up after the halving and before we had this parabolic run up into this uh, heat zone up here and right now you can see that we are in this light blue phase so in theory if we're going to repeat what happened in the past we can easily come down to test the upper uh, blue line here at around 65 to 62 thousand dollars so down here somewhere if we're gonna go down towards the bottom of this blue line this would be at around 47k so more or less where we have the median line of the calendar channels in the month at, at 45k so that's why 45k to 60k is still in the cards and still perfectly fine with what happened also in the past after every bitcoin halving if somehow we would see a prolonged correction phase for bitcoin in the next coming month which is perfectly fine based on the indicators on the monthly time frame but once we are starting to take off so if we would see such a crash you can see that in the past those were always good buy opportunities down here right after the halving because even if we came back down at the end we had this parabolic run up into the heat zone up here and if we would just come up here towards this orange one not even up where we were the last time this would give us a Bitcoin price of approximately $250,000 somewhere here. If we would go into the yellow one, it is still at around $180,000 to $200,000 as you can see here. The more we need to recover and start the bull run, the, the higher the price will go of course. And if we would really also like the last times go into the red zone, this would give us a Bitcoin price more than $500,000, uh, which in my opinion could be also possible. Uh, but only if really everything is going crazy and we are entering really into maximum bubble territory but uh, prices between 200 or let's say 
150 to 250 thousand dollars is very realistic and also not too moon boyish in my opinion for this run up and that's why guys even if we would see even at those prices that we're having right now at around 65k it is a good buy especially if you look at the past what happened right after the bitcoin halving that's why if we would see such a crash in the next coming days buy as much as you can but also right now at 65k it is still a good buy opportunity and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now let me know what do you think are you gonna buy right now or are you waiting for a potential crash at, at the moment as long as we have the daily closes above sixty five thousand five hundred dollars i think once here we're gonna trigger all the buy signals this week in my opinion then we're gonna see a nice bounce and maybe even continuation of the bull run but if not if we see a daily close below it's very likely that first we are in to retest the low 50s and this will end up in a very very good buy opportunity for bitcoin so that's it for now guys thank you very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye for now